what we have here is the HP 35 calculator that I think I had in another video. Uh, when I first got it, like I said, uh, when you would press a button, you either get nothing or multiple hits. So I said this is useless, so I put it aside. Uh, then a few years later, I had a clock, and the buttons weren't working on it quite right, you know. You press it, you wouldn't get anything, or you get multiple hits. So I took it apart and fixed it. And then like six months after that, a light bulb went off you know in my head saying hey those buttons felt like these buttons maybe I should uh, take this apart and see if I can fix it also so I'm gonna take this apart like I did when I first fix it fixed it I take the back cover off and you see two screws yeah one two I guess you can see them so you take those off let's see if I can do it lefty you get some light. So, oh, I should have brought my tweezers. So, two screws in the under the battery compartment. And then someone poked holes here. I didn't do that through the label to get to the next two screws. So, it looks like uh, whoever owned it in the past just trying to fix it too. Uh, those don't want to come out all the way so I leave them in. Ugh. They're tight. Okay, now I tried to open it but it wouldn't go up and then I realized there's two more screws that they hid underneath the rubber pad feet here. Underneath the feet. Sneaky dogs. Now I had to Pry it up a little bit and I can get to those two screws. Ugh. I'm gonna make sure I'm still in the viewfinder. So let me get those out so they don't mess up the pad too much. And the other one on the other side. This one. Okay. So we had a total of six screws holding the back on. Which those last two were tricky to find. I push those down. Okay, so now you can uh that's a shorting bar, you gotta make sure you don't mess up that. Now uh, this can come off. There you go. So the back is off. Oh, look, they got stuff back there, metal. Anyway, I'm going to leave that upside down. So there you got some of the inside uh, printed circuit board. And then you have another one, two, three, four, another eight screws to get this off. So this is what I had to do. Let me put these screws over here because I don't know if they're the same or not. One, two, three. I can't reach those, they turn too deep. And there's another one in here. Four, five, six, six. Seven, eight. Look at that. So you know it's an old calculator because they're using screws. I guess the new ones are all glued or they melt the plastic. Okay, so now this is where it gets tricky because... Well, it doesn't really get tricky. Not my mistake. Now this lifts up. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. And I got a whole disc because it wants to flip over. Now, what you. This was supposed to stay. So, when I took this thing apart. Oh, now the screws come out. There you go. When I took this apart the first time, all in here was all pencil eraser, you know, filings or whatever you want to call them. From when you erase something, it was all filled in there. And when I took this off, this is a plastic piece here, the plastic frame ladder thing, 
to keep a sheet of plastic over the keys when I lifted this up this was also all filled with pencil eraser filings I, I mean I thought this plastic would do something but uh, it didn't so I had to clean I don't know if you can see those raised bumps all those contacts are raised you know strip of metal here and these are all looks like they stamped out and then they bowed it all these these are the keys so I had to slide a piece of paper I used a brown garbage bag cut it to a certain width slipped, slipped it under this pushed this down with a pencil eraser and pulled it through to clean out all the crap that was underneath all these keys and once I did that it worked well, there you can see uh, what do you see there the display those are the two contacts for the on and off these are for the uh, functions here there's a side view and of course the back view of the HP 35 and I had to clean all the keys too because they all had the finger the dirt from the fingers were on there and I'm leaving this upside down because if you turn it over all the keys will fall out and I don't want to put them all back in because uh, that's a pain in the ass so that's your HP taken apart I don't know if, how much time do I have oh maybe I can put it back together oh there's a metal shield here so if I were to put this together let's see if I can do that I had to put the plastic on top with this piece. It's got holes so it lines up. And then I have to uh, put it upside down. Well, I don't know if it's going to cooperate. Let's see if it cooperates. Uh, this doesn't look good. Mm, I don't know. How did I get it together then? I don't know how I got it together. I had to lift it up. Oh, damn it. Let's see if I can drop it in. No, I don't think I can drop it in either. Well, let me see. Maybe it drops in. Yeah, I took this apart a long time ago, so I don't remember how I put it back together. I think it's in. Well, that was rather simple. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four screws. I always like to go backwards so that I feel that the threads catch because it's plastic and I don't want to cross thread. I'm not feeling this one. Okay, that one went in. Yeah, damn magnetic screwdrivers. Okay. Maybe I'll have to shorten this video because I don't know if anybody cares if I put this together. Uh, yeah, everything feels good. Let's see. Hard to do this. So, oh, got it. Okay. Back step it. I also had to do it to that. I think it's what an HP 65 I have or 67. I don't remember what the hell it was. I had to do the same thing for that. Take it apart too and clean it out. Plus the the gummy wheel. That one was trickier because of that card reading mechanism. And I don't think I'm going to take that one apart again because. Uh, that was a pain in the ass. This one is is easy compared to that one. Hmm. I don't I think I got it. Let me double check my screws. Good old fashioned screws. The HP 41 CV. That one they have they melted the plastic or something. That so you can't really take it apart unless you unmelt it. Because that one I have, I have problems with that. I get the back in there and then I just put this back cover on. Hmm. 
And why is it giving me grief? Oh, because of the shorting bar. Uh, so you gotta watch out for the shorting bar. There you go. That shorting bar, if it's not in right, this calculator won't work. And I'll do these easy screws first. Oh yeah, come on. Almost there. <sighs> One, two. How long is this video? Oh crap, it's getting long. Maybe I'll trim it. Ugh. And the other screw. Yeah. Okay. And these two. Eh, yeah, screw it. You got the picture. I'll put those in later. I put the cover back on. So there's my HP 35. That's how I took it apart and that's how I cleaned all the contacts. So if you have an HP old one that has problems with the buttons, you may have the same problem and that's what you have to do to... Maybe that will fix it, maybe it won't. I don't know. But uh, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and your patience and cooperation.